Howdy, how's it going? Happy Saturday, Sunday, whatever day this is you're watching it. Um, little update on what I'm doing. I posted a picture of these on Instagram. Uh, these are just some pieces of metal that I grew in the garden. I planted some steel bearings and these kind of came up. I wasn't sure what was going to grow. Some grew square, some round, some longer than the others. Um, what I'm going to use them for is for the tire changer here. Um, before I do that, Mark Fox was awesome enough to, to send this to me. I had him order it. It's just a little aluminum cone that a guy on YouTube did a video on tire changers and, and it makes accessories for them. And he makes these and he sells these for about 50 bucks. Um, it ships free within the USA. Charge 50 bucks or 56 or something to ship it to Canada. Uh, so what I did was I asked Mark Fox if he could get this for me and and send it to me and I'd pay him for it. Um, he was awesome enough to do it for me. Um, I'll, I'll get into that more in another video. But anyway, yeah, it works. So you don't have to, for those of you with, the, with these tire changers, you know that this goes down on the rim and holds it down, stops it from moving. This pretty much eliminates that. And this goes, fits perfectly on there. And the tapered end goes into the hole on your rim and centers it. So you just put, just pushes down on this and holds it in place. Like that. So it doesn't damage the rim with, with this part. So anyway, what I'm doing is that I'll go in there. just throw that on the floor. And this is your part that goes on to hold that down. Screw that down. So that'll hold your tire in place. Now, my plan is, this piece of pipe I grew in the garden will be cut down. It'll be cut down. I'm going to weld a nut on top of there and cut this the same height as the top of the nut. Sorry, there we go. Weld a cap on there, drill a hole so a screw will go on it and hold this down. It won't hold it so tight that it can't turn because it needs to be able to turn. It'll just hold it and stop it from rising, basically. That's what it'll do. And onto that, it'll attach. I'll show you. There's madness to my method. Okay. This will go over that. This is basically like a two inch hitch receiver pipe. So this will attach to that, except it'll attach to the top up here. I will weld that on there. It'll probably be cut to about that length. And this will be cut to about there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll be welding a nut on there so I can lock that in position anywhere along the length of here for different size rims. This will be welded onto that short piece. This will, which will be cut right there. You'll see more once I, I'll, I'll add on to this video eventually or something. And this nests perfectly in there, theoretically. Might have. Kind of hard to do with one hand here. Let's see. Anyway, that nests in there and it'll have a nut welded onto there so I can lock that in any position. So it'll go for different height rims. And on the end of that, will be mounted this tire, tire duck as they call them. So that will ride around the rim to take the tire on and off thereby eliminating that stupid bar that scratches the shit out of your rims. This is made out of some sort of plastic. It's what they use on professional tire machines. Ordered this on eBay for like 10 bucks. Um, the pipe, okay, I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't really grow it in the garden. Um, I bought it at metal supermarkets. It came to 94 bucks. Um, I really didn't need that. I could probably make two of these with the amount of pipe I got. But I would have felt stupid buying six inches of pipe there, you know. I'm not even gonna get into the jokes about six inches of pipe. So yeah, it would probably be half that. You could probably buy all you need for 40 bucks. And so yeah, tonight my plan is to cut this. Not sure if I'll get it welded up, but I will. I'll have to, to cope that so it joins flush with the pipe, weld that on, cut this. I'm gonna at least get this stuff cut tonight. 
and it'll give you a little bit better idea of what I'm doing. Um, a bit of a mess going on in here. I had doing some housework. It's a beautiful day out, so I did some yard work and some various repairs and stuff. So yeah, so that's it. Maybe you'll see another video tomorrow. Yeah, well, probably. Anyway, that's it. Thanks. Quick update before I go in the house. Got everything cut, ground, um, drilled, sanded, whatever. Spent forever. There's a small pile of the grinding dust. That's just what ended up on the table. The rest on the floor and stuff. I tell you, without a plasma cutter and stuff, it's, it's difficult cutting everything. I used the old chop saw. I've got a, you can't see it over there. And all that scrap steel is a power hacksaw. Um, I didn't feel like digging it out, so I just used that and the grinders and cutting discs. So basically, this is the part that I showed you that goes over top of this, like that. It is going to have that welded on top, finished. This will, no. This goes inside of there. No, it doesn't. What am I doing? This is ground. See, I put a little coping in there, which I did by hand, because I don't have any proper tools. Um, gap is fine enough, I'll be able to weld it on there. Once that's on there, this slides over top of this, as such, to make this adjustable. And on this, I will weld, weld the nut to there so I can adjust that to tighten it down and keep it in place. Welded to this, put that on there for, that's how it'll be, will be this like that. Well first this goes on here. Hold on a second. This is a, a very snug fit. Just one second here. Hold on. Look at look at the darkness for a while. Be one with the darkness. All right. Okay back. So this is a very snug fit. I kind of sand this and polish this a little bit. So that will be welded to there. as such. These holes, just ignore how they are. And on this one too, there'll be that welded there to adjust it and so this can slide up and down. On the bottom of this, this will be welded there like such. And this attaches to the, the plastic duck. So that will be like that. That'll attach there. So that's kind of what we're looking at. It'll be like that. Actually, it'll be more like this. It's somewhat like that. And off. So this is kind of what we're looking at here. It'll be like that. That's the best example I can give you right now. My arm in the way. Oops. Set that there. Something like that. That's how it'll be. It'll be all welded and all touch it and this hole of course be on the top for easy access. This will be off to the side here for easy tightening. I haven't decided if I'm going to weld a bar on here to just hand tighten them or just leave them a nut so I can tighten them with a wrench, snug them up. But that's how it'll be. So tomorrow I weld everything together, weld that on there, weld the tube to the square, square to the tube, bingo bongo. Interesting thing of note piece of pipe is made in the Philippines. What do you know? Interesting. So anyway, I figured it out. With the amount of material I used, I mean the total I paid for this stuff was 94 bucks. I used about a third. So we're looking at about 30 bucks worth of materials here. Uh, three bucks worth of bolts. That was 10. Um, I'm gonna say 50 bucks for, for everything when it's all said and done. Uh, this was 60 bucks. So I'm going to be less than 150 all in for the tire changer and I'll do a video and it's all finished so you guys can see how everything turned out. So thanks for watching.